dinero, the money, the gold. Aquí. Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Um, this is a kind of benevolent despot, and it is a Guarma mission, which I just couldn't stand Guarma to begin with, even when my first playthrough. You couldn't explore or walk around, hunt, do things. You were confined. And you might as well just play the main story missions linearly rather than bother doing anything. And I think the developers put it in there for a reason, but I think they had bad reasons. But I digress. So let's get on with a kind of benevolent despot. Hey! Hi. So, uh... What's the plan? Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of, and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. So, uh, what do we do when we get Javier? Well, uh, gonna get the hell out of here. Man. Set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together. Uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> you wanna go back to Sandiné? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd you? want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead. Gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. An insect bite you or something? Cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperado on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir or a gang of pilgrims or something. Whatever you say. A bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump, sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. Aquí. Dámelo. Oh, it's genuine, you old hag. Oh. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. You know, wasn't Fusar one of the fellers Bronte pointed out to us at the party in San Denis? Yeah, you're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. So did you deal with those workers for Herr Cool yet? Not yet. I will. But you don't think he's just using us? Almost certainly, but we don't have a lot of choice. He's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John and that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, 
When I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Nor am I quite, but that many? Pinkertons arriving like clockwork once again? The door is stuck. You will have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <clears throat> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. This way. Si. Then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. What? What do you do? Jesus! Easy, Dutch! What was that? Horrible old crone. But she killed her. She was gonna betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You sure you're all right, Dutch? I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? Yes. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive. No matter what. So how did you know she was gonna betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings, Arthur. Well, maybe we've all just gone rotten. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> well, my friend! I do not understand. Who are you? I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? <laughs> Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso ni fue para tanto. Si que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. <laughs> no, la próxima vez será aún más duro. <laughs> bueno, ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. Listen to that fool. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. Let's go in there. 
Goodbye. Now you know me, Arthur. We'll cause ourselves a little distraction, and then poof, we will disappear. Take the other side of this door. Ni es una civilización, un país civilizado. Me puede acostar con mujeres que usan zapatos. Tienes algo de tomar? ¿Cómo sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí, escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Okay, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Es una mierda. Es lo más bajo de una civilización. Okay, now we need to create a diversion. Well, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff up. <laughs> exactly. Is there any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. No problem. You'll see. Go close the windows and the doors. Go on, quick. Create enough dust. This place will go. Okay. We are nearly there. All right, head on out and wait for me. I'll get this going. We'd better hurry. Follow me. Okay. I don't want to be too close to that building when it goes up. Come on. We can hide behind that well. That place has to blow. Busson, get ready to make a run for Javier. Coño! Jesucristo! Now, let's go. This is kind of where I kind of get into trouble because I stick around too long. Once uh, Dutch says, let's get out of here, you kind of just want to run with him and get away as quickly as possible. There's more coming. I'll grab Javier. You shoot him from space, Arthur.
dead for sure. Ah, uh, yeah, my friend. This way. Stay with me. You okay there? I'm here. Shit. I think he's passed out, Dutch. On the left, take him out. Again, this is another area where I usually got into trouble because I would stick around and try and shoot these guys, kill as many as I could, rather than run with Dutch. Soon as guys get on the rocks above you, don't worry about the other guys behind the rocks at the same level as you. Take down the guys on the rocks because they can shoot up Arthur pretty quickly. And yeah, you get very limited ammo. That is another thing. With the last guy dead, Arthur can flee, and it goes into a cut scene, and eventually we're back at the camp. Again, with Guarma, there's not a lot of stuff to play with or deal with. That's why I didn't like it. But if you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and specials, and you want to stay informed. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.